I got a call just down the road from me here in care three. Uh, she's not happy about this snake. So I'm gonna jump down there real fast and see what we get. And apparently the snake is next to the small garage. Let's see the small garage. Let's see if we can see a snake there. Not seeing it. I think it left. That happens. Hey, it's Brian. Just letting you know, I am here. Uh, it is no longer at that location. So I'm gonna start searching. I'm gonna start searching the area and see if I can see it. And then I'll give you a call when... Uh, Feel when, free uh... to come in the backyard. Oh, I will. Yeah, I'm gonna check everything. I'll let you know what I find. Right, people what is up i'm coming at you from my driveway i'm just about to pull out apparently it's a western dimeback that's been hanging around a apartment complex that we actually frequent so this is the first time that i am going there this year but on average i think i go there about 10 times a year so hi, hi nick with ah, rattlesnake ah, solutions ah, under the bush under the bush? Yeah. He's under that bush right here. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's check it out. Do you put them back in the preserve? Yes, yeah, they go back in the preserve. Can we barbecue it? Uh, no. I just didn't want to kill it. Yeah, it's not good to kill them. Why not? They're part of the nature. Well, they, yeah, they provide an environmental Look, service. That's what we need. And he's not, is he a baby? Oh, uh, not a baby, a juvenile for sure. So, yeah. you know, a, a few years old probably. He's yeah, no, they're not very aggressive. They, I mean, given the chance, they will always uh, retreat rather than fight, I guess would be the. Right, and then he sat coiled under there for about an hour. Coiled under which where? Right, under right. That by the awesome. spigot, yeah. yeah. This, that might be a snake that lives in the preserve. Yes, yeah, since this faucet works, might be a snake that lives in the preserve and has figured out over the course of a couple of years that occasionally if it shows up to this faucet, it's, get uh, get, it has some water dripping from it. So here we go. Juvenile Western Nineback, kind of skinny, but probably around two feet long. Has had absolutely zero attitude this entire relocation. Oh, there he goes. There's his tail right there. And he's going right into the nest here. Well, that snake's back at a ideal microhabitat for him, a pack rat nest. And I'm gonna go back to my car because it feels like my phone is vibrating from another call. Thanks for watching, peace. Hey everyone, headed to a Gila monster call. My first one of the year. Going to North Phoenix, it looks like, I got sent a picture, it looks like it's a baby Gila monster stuck in a pool skimmer. So I don't know how long the poor little guy has been in there. It's hot today, so I hope it's not overheating. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, thank you. You, you can come through this All way right. if you want. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'm literally going through like the chemicals and I'm just doing it all. And yeah. I'm like, well, you know what? I'll I'll, uh, I'll just look into the thing and get the and Yeah. It's like, whoa! And then he was in there. <laughs> Is this one? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. He's tiny. It's just a little baby. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Holy crap. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so small. Have you ever seen a Gila monster? Uh -uh. No? I mean, when he was, like, I saw his tongue, I'm like, I think this is, this looks like a dragon. <laughs> yeah, they're a little dragon. Yeah, so this is, he's, he's a venomous lizard, but really people only get bit because they handle them. They're not like a rattlesnake where it's like an accident. Gotcha. Um, like, you have to actually, like, hold them, so. What happened if you bit you? Or uh, they, it's just extremely painful. They... Yeah, they bite you. It's just, there's like no recorded deaths, it's just extremely painful gotcha. to be bit by one. Yeah. He's, he is so cute. Oh my goodness. Hi. 
All right, you guys ready for this? Baby Gila, look at how tiny that thing is. Oh my goodness. He seems to be doing okay. He was uh, opening his mouth and stuff, getting a little defensive, which is fine. This means he's, he's doing okay. I found a nice spot here. There's this shady tree and a pack rat nest and a bunch of holes and whatnot over here. So I'm gonna put him in this deep cover. Fragile little guy. Okay, we'll go there then. Oh, found a hole, I guess. <laughs> Thing so tiny it could fit anywhere. It's crazy. Good job, little Gila. A baby Gila. Oh my goodness. This whole area is getting developed. He showed me on a map uh, where future developments are going to be planned that he found out from his builder. And thank goodness he showed me that because exactly where he showed me is probably where I was going to release the helix. It looks like good good land uh, but he said no a bunch of homes are getting built there so I avoided that area uh, so it's a little challenging finding a spot for the little one just because of how developed this area is and I just I want it to survive obviously long term so I found it a nice spot that doesn't look like it's gonna be developed so hopefully the little guy does okay problem here is the quality of this habitat that's being provided here. This is all being watered. So between this drainage and all the cover and sources of water and the piled rocks and all that, this is going to be a hot spot for rattlesnakes for sure. Hi. Hey, I got her. Uh, she was hiding in the place I thought she'd be hiding. So I'll, I'll show you all that, okay? So if you just want to come out when you can. I'm looking for any kind of deep cover. Just really anything that she can use to get completely hidden. And this is something that I still see pretty often. People just releasing snakes out into the ground, just letting it crawl into the nearest bush. That is not helping. Um, if you are going to take it upon yourself to relocate a snake, do not just pick it up and drop it off in a random location. You are not helping that animal at all. You just don't know the results because you watch it crawl away. Um, and you don't realize what's probably happening to it. So I'm not going to just take this snake and just drop it off somewhere randomly. It's going to try to go find a spot and along the way it can be killed or run into somebody else, give a problem for somebody else. So you gotta be very selective if you're gonna do this. It's really important. I mean, I, I know I say this a lot, it's very specific work that you're taking on if you're going to relocate a snake. All right, here is a very big peck rat nest just hanging out. This will be great for her. All right, how you feeling? That's a little hard. I just wanna make sure she crawls down in there and goes to go hide. There you go, that's the idea. Go deep, stay out of the sun, stay away from people and their dogs and their shovels and all their bullshit. She knows what to do. And I just sat in a pile of, of something I'm allergic to. Sucks. <laughs>